write log base 5 of x squared y to the 7th over z cubed. So log base 5 of x squared y to the 7th over z cubed in terms of the log base 5 of x log base 5 of y and log base 5 of z okay I drew a cloud we're gonna go step by step And I apologize if you have that new Kids on the Block song in your head now. All right, so we're going to start with log. I'm just going to copy it down here. Log base 5, x squared, y to the 7th, z cubed. So basically it says break it down as far as it will go, and we're going to use all three of our rules here. We're going to first use the quotient rule. Since we have a log of a quotient, the quotient rule says you can rewrite it as the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. How about that first logarithm there? What operations is inside the argument? Yeah, product. So we can use the product rule next. So what is that going to look like? Log base 5 of x squared. Log base 5 of x squared, yes. To the seventh, good. Uh huh. Good. And now notice all three arguments have exponents. So according to the power rule, where can we get exponents? So we'll have what? Someone else. Or back. Of X. Mm -hmm. Plus. Good. Minus. Is it okay? Well, the previous sign was a minus. You're just copying it down. Is it okay? Yeah. Minus 3 log base 5 of z, you said? Good. Yes. So since these two were being multiplied, it was a plus. Since this was a subtraction, it was a minus. I'm sorry, since this was a division, it's a minus. And that's it. You wrote in terms of log base 5 of x, log base 5 of y, and log base 5 of z. Now this problem goes both ways. I could give you this last line here, and then I could say write as one logarithm. So you would literally go backwards until you get onto one logarithm. So all these steps go back and forth. Now if you get comfortable enough, you may be able to go from the first line to the last line, or vice versa. Depends on, you know, if you do enough of them. Like for instance, since this is a product, you know there's going to be a plus between them. As a division, you know there's a minus between them. And just put the exponents in front. That's so instead of making the power negative. So that means we typically write the powers as positive. 
Other thing, so would it be the same thing though? Is say you have negative log five is equal to the third? I mean, it'd be the same thing as saying plus log five is equal to negative third, right? So I'm saying, say it one more time, please. Is that the same thing as? You might, at the end of that, whatever, the quotient rule. Yeah. Yeah. If you have negative, no, either way. Yeah, you're right. Negative log five is equal to the third. Yes. You brought it up. Yeah. So would that be the same thing as just saying plus log 5c to the negative third? Yeah, and then when you bring that negative 3 in front, right. you still get a minus. So regardless, the minus is going to be there. But yes, typically we write with positive exponents. 